Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and in this React Material UI video tutorial, we will learn about the radio button and sometimes we call it, it just radio also. So these are the points for this video. First of all, we will import the radio button and we can import the radio button and uh, any input or component from the Material UI in a two way and I will tell you the both of way. Then uh, we can use some color and some other kind of style on a radio button. Then we will see that how we can use the on change event and how we can get the value of a radio button as well I will show you that how we can use a state with the radio button right so now let's get start so let's open the app.js file and first of all let's import the radio right let's write here import radio from material core right so this is the one way to import otherwise you can otherwise you can use another way also uh, that's my bad mm -mm. yep so you can just uh, remove these curly braces and uh, just write here simply uh, radio right and now you can use this radio button like this just write here radio Oh my bad. And you can just simply close it also. Whenever we'll just use it, let's make it refresh. Then you can see there is a simple radio button, but there's a no text and all, so we can add some text and all. So guys, one more thing. Uh when you use the radio button, you can use it the two way. One is with the form and otherwise you can use it individually. In this video, we will learn that uh, how we can call the event and all these things. So we are not going to use your form. After the two or three videos, I will show you that how you can use the radio button, check boxes and other input uh, kind of things like button and all in, uh, inside a form also, right? So first of all, let's le uh, learn the basics of these components, then we will use them in the uh, form uh, and we will see that how we can use them as a com combination of uh, these things right so now uh, you can just simply take a div here right so that we can add some text with it also and let's take a span right like this and just simply write here like mail or something right and now, uh, now you can see that there is a no value and all. So let's add some value and all. So just write here value is uh, mail, right? And let's say you just want to put them uh, by default check date, right? Then what you can do for that? Um, you can just simply write here checked. Let's put it true. like this then you will find it by default checked right so let's say you just want to add some color and all so just you write here color and just put here uh, primary then the color will be changed to the blue that's also great now let's uh, how we can use our own change event so on change event just simply write here alert or something let's say hello Okay, so uh, just uh, give me a moment, right? You can use it with that way. Uh, not working. Okay. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Mm, yeah, because we just made it true. So the value of uh, this radio cannot be changed. So let's just comment it and now let's try, right? Now this is working fine. So, but still it cannot be changed. I will tell you that how we can change it with the state. So for a moment, you just get to know that how we can just alert it. So now just remove this thing and uh, just write, uh, write here a function name like uh, handle gender or something, right? And just define it here, like use a const handle gender and uh, let's uh, write an arrow function alert it like uh, 
gender function and all right let's click on it now you can see that this function is working fine right that's great uh, but we know that we always have more than one radio buttons right so that we can choose one of them then how we can do it for that let's uh, just copy it and make another one like here and I put here make by mistakenly it should be male and here should be female right and value can also be female oh my bad yep now that's great so now we have the two buttons on a both we are able to get this function called right so first of all we need a state right so let's just use here use state because this is a functional component as we know and uh, just define here uh, const like gender and then use set gender right and use state and by default it can be any like uh, female let's say right and now for uh, now you can see that the okay use state is already declared okay use state is already declared up here so let's remove it so we just want to uh, select uh, one of them by default so let's say i just want to uh, select female by default then what you need to do you just need to check here checked that's right here uh, if gender is triple equal to female right then it should be checked now by default gender each is female so this is checked now right and now you can see that both are checked but it should not be happened right so for that I am just going to check again and just going to write here if it, it should be only checked if the gender is um, male right and we can just remove these things from here but now if I'm going to try to check it it's not working because in our state the value selected is female so now let's change the value on a button click so whenever I will click on it the state will be updated and this will be automatically selected so let's do it here and first of all how we can get the value like console.won so for that let's get a event here so let's write an event e dot target and whenever you just print the target then you will find that the complete body of uh, this check uh, radio button is printed here so simply write here dot value and when this write here value then you are able to get the value like now you can see that we got the male value right and now what we need to do just simply write here set gender and just put here e dot target dot value right and now you will see that we are able to change because when we are click on the male the state will be gen uh, gender state will be updated with the male value right and when we click on it then uh, gender will be gender state will be updated with the female value so what if we have a th third one also so let's say I we have a third one gender also because it can be possible that we have lots of checkboxes right so just write here other and just write here other this kind of things and uh, now you can see that again this is working fine great if you just want to disable this radio button just simply add the disabled property and it will be disabled you can see that here right so that's all how we can use the radio buttons if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video